This is the story of how the zebra got his stripes. Retold by me, Andrea Florence, and illustrated by Claire Norden. Long, long ago in Africa, the sun was still very new and shone very, very hot. Now, because the sun was so hot, it dried up most of the rain that fell from the sky. All the animals in the land needed water and they were very happy when they found some. One pool of water was guarded by a cheeky baboon who told all the animals that it was his water. He did not allow the other animals to take even one sip from this pool. One day, when the sun was very fierce, a zebra was searching for a drink because he was so hot and thirsty. Now, in those days of long ago, the zebra wore a coat of pure white fur. The white-coated zebra searched everywhere and eventually he found the pool. He was so happy. At last he could have a drink. He raced down to the cool blue pool and began to quench his thirst. Just then the angry baboon barked, Go away! This is my pool and no one else can drink this water. But this water belongs to all of us, answered the zebra as he looked up to find the baboon sitting under a tree roasting Amelie on a fire. This made the baboon even more angry. He opened his mouth wide to show his sharp fangs and he shouted, If you want water, you must fight for it. The zebra did not want to fight, but because he was so thirsty, the battle began. This way and that way they went, both fighting with all their strength. Then suddenly, with a mighty kick of the zebra's back legs, the baboon went flying high into the rocky field behind them. The cheeky baboon landed smack on his bottom. And ever since that day, you can still see the bare red patch where he landed. Oh! The zebra was also not so lucky. With the force of his kick, he stumbled backwards right into the baboon's fire. The hot sticks burnt black stripes across his beautiful white fur. The zebra managed to get up out of the fire. But when he saw all the black stripes across his body, he got such a fright that he galloped back home as fast as he could. From that day on, Zebras were born with black stripes across their white fur. They have come to love their special black and white coats. But they're still not very fond of baboons. For more African folklore stories like this, visit andreaflorens.com.